<laughs> that was an extraordinary film, though, 1917. Yeah. But it's just this great vignette of wonderful cameos with mm. you and Andrew Scott and Colin Firth and so forth. You know, you've got this great... And then you've got the, the, the two lads all the way through it. Yeah, yeah, Dean and George were yeah. just extraordinary together. Um, that was just the call. I mean, I have to thank Nina Gold, the casting director, who's Mike Lee's casting director. The lovely Nina has championed me from, from day one. Yeah. She, she's been a great influence in my career. Um, and it was just one of those phone calls out of the blue that they go, look, there's Mark Strong in it and Benedict and Andrew Scott. And you were like, yeah. And, it, and then they went, Sam Mendes. You went, okay. Mm-hmm. So we went, <laughs> when do I start? You know, and... I had an amazing sort of three days on it. And I'd never met Sam before. And this really? Was a, Seriously? No, I'd never met him. And then um, uh, I turned up and we filmed it at Salisbury Plain. And I got in my army gear. And then, right, obviously, uh, Sam just wants to have sort of a, a little chat with you in his trailer before we go out onto the set. And they dug this whole First World War trench system, yeah. which was just extraordinary to be on. And this is another great lesson for younger actors starting out. And he was so welcoming, Sam. And we sat down and he told me about... I mean, I only had a tiny part in it, didn't I? I was yeah. a small cog in a big wheel, but he... Your first line of the whole film, though, aren't first you? First line, get your, kit, get your kit, come with me. And, like, Sam explained to me the uh, inspiration behind the film. It was all based on his grandfather, who was a messenger. He completely um, explained the whole concept to me. We spoke about my character... And he was just lovely. And he went, and the thing is, Danny, I've seen you so many times on stage. And I, and then he went, I saw you at the Don Mar in that, in that play. And I saw you in Mojo and all these sort of things. And you sort of think, wow, I never knew, he, I never knew he was in the audience. And it was, it goes back to saying, you know, do theatre or do that job because you just never know yeah, yeah, who's yeah, going to yeah. be in the audience yeah. or who watches you on that screen. You know, it's funny. I, I relate to that in the sense of last year's BAFTAs, I interviewed him and he was so giving with his time. Yeah, and... Extraordinary guy. And he answered my first question with, do you know what, Dermot? And and I sort of in my head went blank because while he was saying, do you know what, Dermot? The only thing I can think, my own pride and hubris kicked in, I just went, Sam Mendes knows who you are. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that yeah. weird thing yeah. where you go, I can't, what? How yeah. Do you know, I, and, then you, and then you go, how do you know who I am? <laughs> yeah. How do you, what? what? And then, uh, it's ridiculous, I know, because yeah. it's what I do for a living. The, the great thing about 1917, though, is that we could only ever turn over when it was overcast because it happens in real time. So if it was sunny, there were shadows. Right. That didn't work. The rain wasn't the continuity. Right. So it, there was there was quite a lot of time just hanging about yeah. on Salisbury Plain, um, you know, waiting for the sun to go behind the clouds. Uh, and then you'd all rush and get into positions and, and do another take. And we did it over and over and over. But I did get a chance to chat to him. And I was like... So, because one of my favourite films, the 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 uh, the Paul Newman film, the Road um, to Perdition. Road to Perdition. Yeah. So I got I got a ten minute chat with Sam Mendes standing in Salisbury Plain about Paul Newman. Perfect. And well, he's one of my here. My mum's is one of my mum's favourite actor. Him and yeah. Alan Alda. So yeah, I I grew up. I mean, you'd watch him reading the phone book, wouldn't you? Um, listen, there's three. I, we haven't got long, but there's three. Oh, you're right. I mm, just want to mm-hmm. three things I want to talk to you about. First is Series 3, A Line of Duty. You did Series 3, so at the time, I suppose it was still in its... It was still on BBC Two. Relatively, relative infancy, I suppose, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. What a great series to be part of. Total sort of turning point in my career. Is I, it really? I think so, yeah. Well, you got BAFTA nominated. I got BAFTA nominated. Didn't win it, love. 